Hello everybody, this is Lollipop081 and L.E. here today and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art in, oh yes, Victorian re- week as I like to call it. Um, so after Queen Victoria's daughters, we cannot forget the two famous Danish sisters. Um, the first one I'm doing here is Alexandra of Denmark and um, she was the queen consort to Edward VII, and they pretty much had a good marriage, although Edward rather take part in his playboy activities and all that stuff. So basically with um, Alexandra, I based her off of a painting and a photograph of her from 1864, so hence why it's the big crinoline skirts and all that stuff. So... Um, with Alexandra, um, she was the, she was born in the summer of 1844, and she is the older sister of Dagmar of Denmark, which you will see in a bit, and both of the completed pieces are up on my DeviantArt at lollipop.1mle. So anyways, with, um, to address a lot of the people be like, Oh, well, Nicholas II and King George V of the UK look so much alike. Well, that's because Dagmar and Alexandra were sisters. And George and Nicholas were cousins. So, that's a fact there, guys. It's known. So, she was dignified. Um, Alexandra was a very dignified woman. And she was charming. But in private, she was also very affectionate and jolly. And she enjoyed hunting, much to the dismay of Queen Victoria, because queens aren't, uh, women aren't supposed to go hunting and all that stuff. But she enjoyed it, and Queen Victoria often failed at that. So she basically was faithful to Edward, although Edward was, again, having a bunch of mistresses and all that stuff so another thing was like a lot of people always mention is that she was very deaf she was she was beautiful but she was deaf but she but basically from what i learned was that she suffered from autosclerosis which basically causes deafness but she was one of, she was popular and she was beautiful she even retained a youthful appearance even in her older years, until the World War I years and all that stuff. She, she lived a very long and fruitful life until, I think, the 1920s. She was a queen mother as well. Hold on, I'm just going to double check here. I know I'm going on Wikipedia. Don't judge me. But she, yeah, she died in 1925 after... So she outlived her husband by a few years and she saw her son, King George, get crowned and all that stuff. She was, yeah, she was very much beautiful, but very much popular and beloved. And here is Alexandra completed. And next up, we have her younger sister, Dagmar, also known as Maria Fyodorovna of Russia. She was the Empress Consort to uh, Alexander III and honestly out of the uh, out of the two sisters I think Maria or Dagmar as she was known nicknamed Minnie I think she was the prettiest of the Danish the royal Danish sisters and all that stuff so originally with this peach I wanted to um, give her the curly hair that she spotted but I also based it off of a painting of when she got married to Alexander and all that stuff. So basically for this one, I actually gave her the, uh, the 19th century court gown that Russian noble ladies would wear in court. And she wore this one when she was a grand duchess. And she was very popular. She was also very popular at the time until the, oh, oh, that's right, the revolution happened. And she was also, she basically also disliked 
um, Alexandra Fyodorovna, her daughter-in-law, and whatever, whatnot, and, and again, not only she had Nicholas, who was the second who was her first child, but she had, um, a few more children after that, she had George, she had Xenia, Michael, and Olga, and one son, Alexander, who died, uh, very young, I believe, so she, basically retreated to England after, during the revolution, lived there for a while, but, and again, she and Alexandra were very close, very, 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 very close, and she refused to believe that her, her son died and all that stuff. And then when her sister died, she moved back to Copenhagen for the remaining years, and she also passed away of old age at 80, actually three years after her older sister Alexandra passed away in 1928. And one of the things I learned in my research, yeah, I know, I went on Wikipedia. Basically, when she was engaged to Alexander the Set, um, Alexander the Third's older brother Nicholas, um, he died of meningitis and Dagmar was very heartbroken and his last his last N N Nika as he was known by the family he was like um so after Nika's death um Alexander II consoled her attempted and said in affectionate terms like I hope you consider yourself still consider yourself a, a member of our family and she happily got engaged to Alexander III while looking at photographs in Copenhagen. So she did live a very fruitful life. So I did fix up her hair at the end and all that stuff because I'm like, I'm not a fan of this. It, it made me think she looked like she was early Regency period instead of Victorian. So I fixed it there. So as you can see, and I had to fix her veil and whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Lollipop Speed Art of the two Danish princesses, sisters. And I hope you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Also follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, and DeviantArt as both these pieces are up there. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I post videos every Fridays and also Saturdays. I hope to see you next time. Peace, y'all.